Hey folks, welcome back to another video on the Living in Halifax channel. Today we're gonna be doing a quick video on kind of a home buying process here. You know, I've had a lot of first time home buyers reach out as well as people from outside of the province and country. So I just wanted to uh, do a quick video on this. Um, once again, here at the Living in Halifax channel, we specialize in helping people move from outside of the city, outside of the province, outside of the country, right here in Halifax. We also do a ton of video content for our sellers. So if you have any interest in that, then please reach out. But without further ado, let's get to it. All right, now we're back at my place. Unfortunately, the brewery market where I was just filming wasn't gonna work too many people around, but it is a great place to be at on Saturday when the farmer's market's there. Anyways, when we start our relationship, usually what happens is we'll have a, a meeting via Zoom, maybe buy coffee, and we'll go over the home buying process in terms of timelines, you know, costs, fees that you may run into, uh, as well as just general organization. So this conversation will be just covering all those things. Now, usually when we sit down, the first things I'm, I'm talking to you about is going to be what it is you're looking for, what it is you're hoping for. Do you have a house in mind? Do you have a number of bedrooms, bathrooms, areas, things like that? The next thing we'll be talking about is do you have financing? Have you spoken to a bank or a mortgage broker? Now this, if you haven't done this, is obviously very important. You need to know what your budget is. Uh, and if you haven't done that, I've got quite a few contacts uh, in order to help you out. Up next, we'll kind of be going over uh, costs and fees, which I'll touch base on as we move throughout this video. Basically what we do from here is going to be talking about timeline. So once we've had our meeting, usually it takes a couple weeks for people to kind of get going, really start their search. At this point, we've loaded you into a, a custom system that is sending you and me emails every time a property pops up. But basically once you're getting really, really close, uh, We'll be talking almost every day if, if properties are coming up and at least once a week, once you're really ready to get going. At this point, we're going on showings. We're seeing houses that may look good in the pictures. Maybe they don't look good in person or, or vice versa. Maybe they don't look good in the pictures, but they actually do look good in person. So we're the, the name of the game here is doing the reps. At a certain point, you're going to say, Tom, this is the house for me. Let's put an offer in. When we put that offer in, Usually what occurs is there's about two weeks of what is called conditions. Now, this is kind of an important thing. So the conditions that are traditionally asked for are gonna be financing. So this is after we've already talked to the bank, this is us bringing them a house that we want to finance and the bank saying, yes, we're willing to finance this house on your behalf or no, you know, this, this house is not something that we're willing to finance. The next condition is going to be insurance. This is just make us making sure that we can actually insure the house. Condition after that will be uh, the lawyer review, which is essentially all properties in Nova Scotia need to be reviewed by a lawyer. It's just what has to happen. We're checking for title. We're checking for any liens against the property, things like that. Finally, the, the other main condition that we will run into will be us booking inspections. Now there's two, technically three different types of inspections that we'll be looking to do. A home inspection, which can run anywhere between $500 to $650 if they have to drive out to the country. A well and septic inspection, that can be, you know, 400-ish dollars, again, plus or minus 100. So when we're doing those well and septic inspections, this is for properties that are located outside of city services. So off of the sewer line, off of the water line, homes in Nova Scotia commonly will have septic systems. It's basically, I describe it as your own spaceship. Um, and I've got a, a video on, on this channel kind of diving further into septics in Nova Scotia. But um, it's a closed system. So you get your water from your property as well as uh, the wastewater goes out kind of in its own enclosed system. So we're getting somebody, to, a professional to come in there, take a look at that to make sure we're not running into, you know, a crazy fix that can cost 30 grand. Uh, and if we are running into that, we're getting money from the sellers in order to alleviate that. So the only other inspection I guess you could consider would be uh, what's called a sewer lateral inspection. So on properties in the city that are on, uh, well, on sewer, these properties uh, still have a connection pipe to the city. 
and you really do want to take a camera and scope that out. So a plumber will come by, I think it's about 150 bucks, but this is probably worth doing in the older homes. Uh, I've had clients that did this inspection, saw that the pipe needed repair and it was like a $15,000 fix that the sellers paid for. So that's great. Anyways, name of the game is out here. You're still doing inspections, it's still important to do. Now the other fee, I guess I left out, is the lawyer fee. That's gonna run probably around 1200 bucks depending on the complexity of the deal. It can be as low as a thousand, can be higher, really depends. Now also during this time frame. I'm gonna include, so this is a two week period, right? This is the this is when the deal is really cooking. The first couple days after we have an accepted offer, there's usually a deposit that goes in. Now this deposit, if it's a $500,000 property or house, usually it's about five grand. That's due a couple days after. Now, if during those two weeks of conditions, we, the sellers decide that, you know what, this is not the house for us, then we will uh, pull out of the deal whatever, maybe it's fell through on financing, insurance law review, or we couldn't negotiate with the sellers based off our inspections. We can pull out, we will get that full $5,000 right back. The non-refundables obviously will be any inspection fees incurred. Um, and the lawyer, again, won't, won't be paid until close either. Um, now my fees, just for people wondering right now, are actually covered on the selling side of things. Um, so it's, the buyers do not have to pay out of pocket for that. It comes from the proceeds of the sale of the home. So once we've completed all of our due diligence, uh, after the two weeks, two and a half weeks, whatever it may be is done, negotiations are completed. So let's say during the home inspection, we see that the roof uh, is, is due this year. For something like a roof, we may not get the full um, amount done, but usually we're meeting in the middle, maybe 50, 50, something along those lines. It really depends on the individual house. So once we've completed all of our due diligence and we're happy to go, you're gonna say, Tom, this is the house we want. Let's put in what's called the 408, which is basically us waiving our conditions, saying the sale is firm, the sold sign's going up, we're happy with the house. And at this point, we're basically unable to back out. So this is the line of no return The buyers you have said that this is the house that we want. We're all good to go. And if we were to try and pull out of the deal after we've signed that 408, then legal action can be taken. Usually you're going to definitely lose the, the deposit. And then what can also occur is uh, the sale price will be posted that you originally paid. And if let's say you paid a $500,000 in that house only goes for $400,000 next time, you'll be responsible potentially to cover that extra hundred thousand dollars so once you put that sold sign up it's it should be in your head that this is it this is done after that period we've got the closing period now this can be as, as little as a couple days it can be as long as you know a couple months uh, it really depends on the sellers as well as the buyers goals and, and everybody working together on that during this time the sellers are usually moving out uh, of the house maybe they're finding a new place whatever it may be and then on the closing day we do uh, what's called a pre-close inspection. So we'll go out there around 9 a.m., make sure that the house is, is kind of how we last saw it, um, and uh, do a walk around the property, whatever it may be. And then we clear the lawyer to close. They take the funds from the bank, shake hands virtually with the other lawyer to give them the funds, and uh, the keys come into your hands. Things to know, book, movers a day or two after because sometimes a closing can de be delayed a day or two usually you're not getting the keys till at least 3 p.m the day of close anyways um the other things to note would be uh just kind of calling um the power people if you need access to power you need to call nova scotia power the water guys halifax water for those homes that are located on the uh the city services and then things like internet bell is great out here um, east link is another big one bell has fiber op so some people like that and then there's some cheaper ones like citywide which can be uh, cheap and, and purple cow would be another cheap one or sometimes your cell phone carrier can can bundle stuff in for cheap so it depends on that but these are kind of the things we're, we're taking into account finally when, when it comes to those additional closing costs there's a couple things that might be prorated. So your property taxes, um, depending on you know what the sellers have paid. Uh, oil, usually it's topped up. Again, there's a 
so oil tank if you have an oil tank uh, topped up at close or right around close and then there's a, uh, an adjustment made there for that and then the property the deed transfer tax now this is a big one that people sometimes aren't tracking but deed transfer tax uh, is 1.5 percent in Halifax it can be lower in other parts of the province um, but this is going to be 1.5 percent of the purchase price here in Halifax so just something to kind of keep in mind when you're uh, thinking about that now I, I'm trying to rack my brain if I've left anything out but at the end of the day if and when you're looking to make a purchase here reach out to me we'll be going over all this stuff um, and for those I, I made I'm making this video as well as kind of a follow-up to people that have spoken on the phone and not in person um, I hope this has helped and other than that We'll see you in the next video. Once again, it's been Tom Moore here with Living in Halifax. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, have a good day.